We have been on the road for weeks and we just left Bighorn Canyon in Montana. Last week we crossed over the Bighorn Mountains, back to Wyoming, and we are headed to the Black Hills. Hello from Buffalo, I think. Buffalo ask. What's the name of this lake? Desmit. 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 We will put the word on the screen. <laughs> no, we will not. Yeah, well. That's so much work. I'll remember. <laughs> it, this is the lake. It's a reservoir. And it's got this like uh, county park on it. No hookups, 15 bucks a night. Our last night in Wyoming. Womp womp. I was just thinking that. It's so, bu it's, it's kind of a bummer. There's a depressing feeling about turning back. It really is. It Even feels if like. It's like more time back. We're really at way. the halfway point, not the it's over point, but. I don't know. I'm really hoping the Black Hills is cool, even though it's hard. it was hard to find something. We found something. We don't have anything booked past Friday night. It's, it's so Tuesday. Great. We've left the weekend open. We've left the weekend open when it's easy to find oh, stuff. Wow. Have you done it at Everyone? As a Bighorn Canyon Junior Ranger. As a Bighorn Canyon Junior Ranger. I promise to do all I can. I promise to do all I can. To help preserve and protect the cultural and natural resources. To help. Oh, that looks really nice. Did you style your own hair? Yeah. What did you used to do it? What have you got? Mm hmm Some styling wax stuff. Yeah, hair gel. Hair gel stuff. Pretty nice. Not that. What happened to my note? Henry and I read about how cowboys and outlaws would have like a little hidey hole somewhere in a town that was like a... I can't remember what it was called. A secret post office, basically. So we set one up of our own. It's down here. <laughs> Isn't it down here? Oh, it, moves, it used to be on the left wire. And it moved over there. You gotta really look. You gotta keep your eyes peeled. See if you got a message. All right. <gasps> it's you riding a horse. Henry, I don't know if we're gonna get to go horseback riding. I couldn't find us a camp spot at Custer State Park, which is the only place that I was able to find reasonably priced horseback riding that allows six-year-olds. Everything's eight and up everywhere else. I couldn't get us a spot there. Good. We'll keep we'll keep trying. We'll keep looking for spots. This spot. I'll have to I'll, I'll have to this pictures spot. of me horseback this. riding as done by Henry will have to suffice, and they're pretty great. Mama. <laughs> this was our view when we woke up today. Not a bad way to start the day. But then we all kind of had to jump up and get moving. Henry and I have matching Yellowstone shirts. It's got our rig on it. And if you want one of these Yellowstone shirts, they're in our they're in our online store, so check the link in the video description below. I don't know why you'd want a picture of our rig on it, but people buy these things and that's awesome. It supports us. It helps us keep doing what we're doing. This was a good bacon. We can share now my notebook. Packed some bags and we headed west. Thought that it might be the best thing for us. I was thinking about me. 
And all the things that you leave behind Family and a piece of mind I got you Can I get hold you up over there? I am going to love you till the stars go out Shelter up above Until they all fall down We ain't got life We got love Flowing like feathers in the heavy rain, two of us together can weather any change. Well, I couldn't see that sign, but it said Black Hills National Forest. Here it feels like home, home is who you're with when you don't feel. A cross between Eureka Springs and Hot Springs. We have arrived at Allen Ranch Campground. Mass drop off the road there. Oh, we're going towards right now. Campground. Yeah. Road dead end that way. We're supposed to have water and electric. They've got their Starlink out. Yeah, this is good. That's the north. So nice climbing, dude. Ah. Can you reach the other one? No. Okay. It's a family effort here in, where are we? Hot Springs, South Dakota. How could you forget that? How could I forget? I'm from Hot Springs, Arkansas. The real Hot Springs. National Park. The oldest national park. It's not the first. It's the oldest, though. The last? Do the math on that in your head and put in the comments how you think that works. And we're here for at least two days. That's what we have booked. And we're in the Black Hills. We might stay longer. We just gotta sort Excuse some me. stuff out. Guys, the rig drove like today. This is the place where we must solve all of our problems so that we can leave here happier, readier, travelier people. Yeah. That's what I told Casey. I got some work drama going He's on. Having a bad time at work. And the yeah. wind driving today was, it was no very good. windy, but but most of all the engine stutter. I went I put ready. two cans of seafoam engine cleaner through it today. You need to rest from driving. You need to solve some work problems so you can be less stressed. Mm-hmm. And we need to figure out what's wrong with maybe the fuel filter or whatever's going on. You know, this is part of driving an older rig. This is what we got into. And frankly, it's been fantastic. It's got, it's only has 70,000 miles on it, guys. Um, 20 of which we put on it. I had 50 when we bought it. But it's... Yeah, uh no complaints. Trying to be positive. It was a tough day. Tough day on the road. But that's part of it. Henry, are you having a tough day? Or are you having an easy day? Playground. I will. Check in when you get there. I will. Okay, bye. Bye. Have a nice day. You too. <laughs> okay, with laundry drying, hooray. I am gonna move on to cleaning up a little bit in the kitchen. It's just gotten kind of grimy. Like we do wipe up pretty frequently, but like those back corners can use a little a little deeper love. Hey. 
start some bread. I'm gonna make this, I think. Bread! No, Sorry. It's, not, it's not bread, it's still dough. It's still dough? Yeah. Oh my god, mom. It doesn't fit. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. Okay, good. Yeah, that's better. We just crossed the bridge. Cool. It's really pretty out here. All these mountains are really cool. So there's like rocks and grass and trees kind of all intermixed. Pretty good melted butter. You look good. People who watch our channel really admire your buns. I decided not to make the brownies, by the way. We ate a whole loaf of bread today. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> this is not how we slept. Henry comes into our bed every morning, whether we're on the road or not, and he's our alarm clock. And it's kind of the best. We're moving today into a RV park in town. This has been the place for solving problems. I don't know if we did that. I know that we definitely figured out where we're going. I feel a lot more confident about that. Surprisingly. Unfortunately, Henry's woolly mammoth sweater not dry. is not dry. The mammoth site is one of the very few displays of fossil mammoths in North America where their remains have been left in place, and it is clearly the largest. Containing remains of more than 60 mammoths. That was a good, that was a cool thing. That was cool. It was way more legit than I expected it to be. I didn't know what to expect. Did you like it, Henry? Yeah. There was a sinkhole here, and like, so far they found over 60 mammoths that slipped and fell into the sinkhole. So it's like a, it's like a mammoth rich environment, you know? And, uh, and then the sinkhole filled in with sediment, and then erosion eroded everything around the sinkhole, so it left a hill behind. And a land developer in the 70s, Bought a bulldozer up here to push the hill down so he could develop property. 
and found a bone. Unfortunately, did the right thing. Did the right thing, and called the scientist, and it got preserved in situ. And they're still actively digging out mammoths right now. Is this really and cool? And the sediment. See, this is the hill. Look, we're probably standing on some right now, guys. This is more of the sinkhole. That's crazy. Campsite? I'm ready. Computer. Not fair. <laughs> Take us to the campsite. <laughs> it worked. Disengage brake pedal. Okay. I remember earlier when you were like, the RV just turned itself off and it's broken. I forgot about the automation. <laughs> Thanks, Sunny Superfood Food House. <laughs> Man, these are some monsters. Yeah. We're gonna be the tiniest thing here. Guys, Paige's dream came true. She finally got to ride a horse on this trip. This whole bag is full of our, our, our paper recycling is in this whole bag. It's a lot. Let's see. Open it up and show us. Yep, that's quite a bit of paper. And how do we how are we gonna get rid of it? Burn it! <laughs> We're gonna, We're gonna burn, burn it that shit. Sorry. It's on fire. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh. You're still gonna have room for a marshmallow though, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smoke spot time. Careful dude, you're gonna light your end on fire. Stop, put out, put out. It, Dad. Oh, don't stick me in the face with it. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> One needs to manage their own marshmallow. <laughs> I'm back, I'm blasting him. Oh, dude, I got a new friend after I use my booster. It's okay, Dad. I'm, I'm, I blasted Link with red shell. Isn't that, isn't that good? It is good. Morning, guys. I had to empty the microwave this morning to warm something up. Do you guys do that? I saw a post on Reddit where someone was like, anyone else do this? And they had bread in the microwave. Absolutely, it's our bread box. We had bread, pretzels, tortillas, donuts, and crackers in the microwave. If we didn't use it occasionally for me to reheat some old coffee, I'd rip it out and make another pantry cabinet there. It'd be pretty dope, actually. Today is the day that Paige fulfills her dream of riding a dang horse on this trip. It's horse day. Horse day! Yeah. And we're gonna drive to Custer State Park. Apparently, when people come to the Black Hills, that's what they do. There's like a really Really nice South Dakota State Park called Custer. I say it's really nice because I've looked at the pictures and I say it's what everyone does because literally everything is booked for like months in advance. It's like Yellowstone uh, as far as like the booking, you know, window was. So we're going to drive up there and then we're going to spend two nights at Elk Mountain Campground in Wind Cave National Park. We won't be able to film that for you. We can film what's going on in the RV, but you know what I mean. And um, we're going to tour, tour a cave there. tomorrow. Where are, you, where are you pointing shirt up? After Wind Cave, we're going to have some city time. A few days in Rapid City, and then we're gonna start moving across South Dakota towards Badlands. We're really well packed down today. Yeah, that took like what, 10 minutes? I know it was a one night, so like we packed down yesterday, but I just feel like things are especially organized right now. 
the jackery kind of blew up earlier. I've had it short on me before where you plug something in and it, like the whole screen kind of goes blank and then reboots. Yeah. Yeah, and it went from 60% battery to 4% battery. I mean, it's possible that it shorted and arced all that power out, but I think the battery management system just totally rebooted it. Well, we'll get so, it back up. Start recharging. Henry? Yeah, he's, he's having himself on the pole. It's been crossing. Uh huh. Look, he stopped so much. More bison. I need you to yield to me, fam. It's pretty funny. That was cool. Yeah, I think there's Just a second one, isn't there? Here. No, what they say, you can't keep the clouds away. away. We lost the light. Ugh. You think I pulled over let him Yeah, pass. we pulled over to let him go by and they were like, you lost your light. Yeah, it's good for it. It's only magnetic, but it stayed on for it. That's the first time it's fallen off in 10,000 miles. Okay. We just drove into Custer, like we're at the Custer sign. We went over the cattle guard and it tossed it. We've arrived at the horse stables. I'm, I'm nervous. Henry's feeling a little nervous. We told him that was pretty normal. It's They'll get you the horse you need to be on, okay? Exactly. They'll get me the right, the, cause they're like real cowboys. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're exactly the right horse. They know their horses, yeah. I've played all my cards. I'm all out of luck Put my money in the jackpot But I guess it's falling through At least I still have you Every day well, Paige and Henry are off on their horseback ride. Well, meanwhile, I'm just hanging out here in the parking lot, catching up on YouTube and a little bit of work stuff. Just uh, having some dad alone time. I've gone horse riding in the past. Uh, I'm good on that. W one was enough. There's my cow poke. Henry! I bought, I bought a, a horse too with my money. With your money? Okay, be careful. Don't drop it. Wow! Do you feel like a real cowboy? Yeah. I saw you riding a real horse. Captain, he kept feeling like he kept saying, doing this to me. With his tail? No, he bounces around in the saddle because he's so little. Oh, is your butt okay? A little sore? You want to finish your sandwich? Yeah, I figure you're kind of hungry. Oh, you okay? Are you worn out, dude? It is like a lot to hold, up. hold on. And... Kiddo, you okay? <laughs> okay, why don't you just get up there he, in your car seat? He's so little, like, he was really having to hold on. I saw like, him, he was like sideways. Don't wrap around the yeah. horse like mine do. You did good, little butt. I'm so proud of you. Look, he got a dollar in his change from the horseshoe that's got the like track me thing. Oh, yeah. We you should track look it. it up? Yeah. He said we're out of toilet paper. And there's something I've been wanting to look at a hardware store for, for our lights on the back, our lights that fall off. We're on the last one that's out. So, no, yeah. All right, everyone. CBC and Ace Hardware, Paige said. And then like, as she was saying, it was giant Ace Hardware sign. So here we go. Oh, Henry found the Milwaukee's. He's looking for toolboxes. This is my extended tail light solution, I think. See short. And this is our extended butt wipe solution. Custer's cute. Back to Wind Cave. 
In case you guys didn't see our previous video where we went to Yellowstone, give them the disclaimer. I will remind you that as a monetized YouTube channel, we cannot film in the national parks. Continue on US3. We do, however, have a not at all monetized in any way Instagram account. <laughs> and so we're just gonna uh, be posting our like biggest highlights, coolest things we saw in the national parks that we visited on this trip there so that you guys can see a little bit of that. Um, and then I'll just say again that like obviously the national parks are cool and you should visit them and you don't need us to show you the cool stuff there to know that like duh that's why they're national parks um, and we're really excited to be able to show you all of the stuff along the way and everywhere else that we go in more detail so that's why there's little holes in some of these videos so yeah the next two nights we're staying in wind cave National Park at the campground there. We're gonna tour the Wind Cave. You're not gonna get to see that here, uh, but you can pop over to Instagram and see it there. See you guys on the other side. Bye YouTube. Go to our Instagram right now. Go subscribe to that. How do you do it? What is it? Follow? Follow us. That's how Instagram works. Go do it. discharged and said they were at zero and they were beeping in case you witnessed in the meeting and I thought I had drained the batteries and that was the whole thing. They're filling back up from the solar and the alternator charge. The Jackery at almost the exact same time kind of blew up and said it was at zero percent and it did this at least one other time recently and we don't really know what's going on with it. No, um, it, won't charge. it won't charge and we really rely on our Jackery so I'm really upset about that so We've got it plugged in. So hopefully something that yeah, last time this happened, it um it charged a little bit and then all of a sudden it was full. So it was like definitely more of an error than a full discharge. So yeah, kind of a hectic power moment. But we are headed to Rapid City today and we booked a KOA that has full hookup, so we won't need to worry about those things for a minute. Um, and on the way, we're gonna see Mount Rushmore. But yeah, so follow along. I try to restrain from yelling to Casey. Stop. You gotta pull over and see this. But I just did it because there's a mountain of bikes. Google's mad about it. A mountain of bikes. Henry. Oh my God. What in the world? Oh, yeah, we can't see. We gotta open this window. Oh, it's got like an archway. Can you go inside? Dad, can you park? I mean, I, I can kind of park. I'm getting out. in bikes. What the hell? <laughs> this is the craziest thing. Okay. 
okay. I'm really glad we stopped. That was super freaking cool. Are you looking? Yeah. Look at the look at the mountain, Henry. Wow, there's there's there. Uh huh. It's a little twisted. I see the Arkansas flag. It's by the Alaska flag. They're in alphabetical order, maybe. One, two, three, baby. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. You can just sit here, guys. I didn't know this. Did you know this? There's just stadium seating, and you can sit here and see if the presidents move. Pretend to pick Roosevelt's nose. Mm -hmm. This is our lunch stop. So we're lunching. Oh yeah. Did you notice that the one over there, Sam? Uh-huh. He has a little glitter on his nose. He got a little glitter on his nose? Yeah. Oh no, there are some shiny spots. Some shiny spots. There, right? See, do you guys see how Lincoln wasn't finished? They didn't really get around his head. Washington, they had just started on his coat jacket. See his um uh -huh. lapels. The lapels were just starting to come through. Henry's been looking at these Junior Ranger vests everywhere we go. <laughs> there was finally one his size. There you go. Cool. Let's roll, Junior Ranger. It doesn't really get more RV road trippy than that, right? Mount Rushmore and camping at the Grand Canyon when we went out west. That's like peak RV road trip right there. Now we're getting tailgated down a 10% grade by dumb people. Look at this dummy. I think it go faster. We've made it to the KOA Holiday in Rapid City. And we just got here, it's hot. It's the first day we've turned the air conditioning on. Got here, jumped out, loaded up, and everybody went to the pool and got cooled off. We came down out of the mountains and it's like 10 degrees hotter at least. It's like upper 80s today. That pool was nice. I think we all needed it. Mostly because we none of us have had a bath in four days. I guess we're gonna chill out for a minute and then make some dinner. We did what we usually do, which is I start cooking and then I walk away because I get distracted and then Casey takes over and cooks the whole meal. So um, it's gonna be good. I noticed Mr. Dent likes some. Yeah, but I love our mini makeshift black stone too. The only thing I don't miss is the grill we got rid of, which serves us very well. I didn't hate it by any means. But it had to fit in that, and it was a big ball. It was always falling out. Mm -hmm. Was it yesterday Father's Day? Yesterday was Father's Day. Thank you for setting the timeline up for the people. So as I was saying before the battery died, all of our batteries died. I read the manual, I downloaded the manual for the Jackery and it shows me the icon and it says dead battery. And it says that the solution is to charge it up to 100%. I read online people saying like, plug it in for a couple hours. Anyway, it's been going for, I don't know, three, four hours now. Maybe not quite that long. Still just bouncing between two and three watts in. Normally it gets about 140 watts off this charger. Still showing the icon, 0%. I'm afraid our Jackery's toast. 
And so, basically everything we own with a USB charging cable, and we just charge off of that thing constantly while we're driving, um, especially when we're boondocked so that we don't eat through our house battery. So now we just got everything that needed to charge, which is everything, plugged in up here on our power strip on the table, which is fine, it'll get us through. But when you think about it, this is like a significant hit to our ability to go off grid because we've just been charging everything on that. And you think like little phones and stuff wouldn't take much charge, but this thing has almost as much usable capacity as our dual AGM battery set up here on the house side of the RV. So, I mean, it's like losing half of our battery capacity. Um, and we're already like pushing that. I think our AGMs might finally be toast after three years of deep cycling them. Feeling kind of, feeling power poor right now. Well, I mean, everything's plugged in now. <laughs> but when we leave the KOA, yeah, I don't know what we yeah. do. Yeah, oh, do. So, uh, so we've reached out to some battery companies <laughs> who wants to sponsor us. Everybody and their sister has nine free batteries on their YouTube channel. Oh. The one I paid out of pocket for blew up. So we're just hanging out. Henry went to bed in our bed. We're about to go to bed. We're just tired. Anyway, week four on the road. Everyone's still thriving, except for anything with a battery in it. Have you ever been to a toy store this good? This is a nice one. Look at the big dinosaur. I've been getting Instagram ads for this same brand. Like, where I not drop them. I can't see anything. Four o'clock. Which means it's time for coffee and pretzels, obviously. Straight out of a can. Oh, my God. What do you think, Henry? This is better than the soft pretzel at, at the cafeteria lunch at school. All right. Okay. The bar has been set. <laughs> better than public school cafeteria pretzels. That's your chicken, okay? Lovely. Looks really messy. So We're having Indian food. Nepalese food, actually. Which is not in. I guess it's somewhere. It's right next to Indian food, okay? Yeah. Oh my god, that was so good. There's a nice little bike trail here. And only a little bit of street riding to get to it. You didn't crash, did you? I lost the bag. Oh, I heard a thump and a... I don't know if you dinged on purpose or... All right. You want me to pick? Yeah. I'm done with that. I'd like to walk by the parchment paper on the way to the bread, and then we can go. It's so that is so indulgent. It is. Good time. No, 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 no. It's not gonna fit. Are you kidding me? This little shampoo is gonna put us over the edge? No. I'll put it in my bra or something. Careful, dude. Hey, shower, what the heck does he have? You got <laughs> Bread's the sketchiest thing we're getting. It's gonna have to go on top. They do have Dave's bread over here. I'll have Dave's. Oh my gosh. Dave, you could sponsor us. This is how we react to you. 
Oh, they have Dave's? Uh-huh. Get me that. Dave's. You know? We decided that you could probably fit two baskets in there. <laughs> After seeing just one basket, we said, no, let's do two. After I saw the baskets. Let's see if it fits. My arm is about to fall off. Yeah. I don't want to smush them. Yeah, I forgot about the cable in here. There's oh, eggs you know right on top, but I feel like they're okay. Before you buckle that up, this goes in there. <laughs> This is apparently iterating on our bedroom setup in what here. What we feel a thousand times more comfortable without this situation. Without those in it? leaning back, like the amount of space you added to you, like... Oh yeah, deep seats. Well, this is way more it's comfortable. It's so comfortable. This is so comfortable. And if you're sitting up in your art hut, you can touch the ground. Yeah. And you can lay down and nap in it. Well, you know, the water. original idea for this couch was not really for so, these cushions. We just happened to find them. I feel like we and, could... But back here, they're actually, like, adding they extra... Fit, they add stability to the back. To the back on. Like, I'm having an amazing time right now. I need a better butt cushion, right though. now! Well, I think it might be time to change Separate these. those, yeah. There's something different about We could just separate them. Keep the pads. And just have them not all linked together, and then we could just put the butt ones down. Yeah. If they weren't linked yeah. together by flaps of fabric, where you had to unfold them all, you could just take the butt size, which this is sized for, and just put two butt ones down. It was great. Too risky to cut it. You want to go that bold and just cut the bottom I don't know, off? Right now, it's doing a really good thing with all of this behind you. You can cut the bottoms off. So, but the bottoms could be there too. I don't know. The worst case scenario is you just sew them back on. But like, it's not a big deal if they get cut off because it's the part at the bottom of the bed that like, it's not going to separate from us, I don't think. Not with this sticky mat holding uh -uh. it together. Should I cut one out? Yeah. Oh my gosh, are we going to cut our mattresses? They were like... <laughs> we're just like... We're they were like $100. Like if I were to build it myself at Joanne's, it wouldn't have been much cheaper. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Yeah. I'm gonna cut on the left side of the stitching. Let's go to the pancake breakfast tomorrow. Oh, and this seems stand closed. I got you. Except for where I made a little hole to see something. It'll be so interesting to see how making the bed goes. Yeah. Like if it's easier or more of a pain in the ass. Oh, it's gotta be easier. This is so much nicer. Why? I hope it translates to YouTube. There's just there was just so the much back cushion. Support yeah. And, and yeah, like the length of it. Yeah, we didn't realize the way that those fold up. And you have like a like a t ten inch rail for your butt to fit on. And so mostly that thing gets made into a bed to put it away. And we really rarely sit on it, but that looks way more comfortable. So comfortable. Oh, look at how puffy that bad boy is. Dang. It's whole wheat, so it's not as cooked as it looks. <laughs> All right. Let's oh, it's great. We got the hook up from I started calling around because I was like, oh yeah, we got this fuel filter thing that I want to get changed and see if that fixes our engine problem. And I started calling places. Everyone's just an ass, man. I mean, honestly, they really are. They're rude. They're just like, oh, we don't do motorhomes. It's like, we haven't even let me tell you the problem. Do you have a wrench? Uh, but we found a mobile mechanic and I called and they were like, it's going to be a billion dollars to come out and hundred bucks an hour to work on it. 
and I was like, oh, they're set up for like emergency roadside, you know, so it's like $200 just to come out. I'm like, oh, it's not an emergency, don't worry about it. And then the guy was like, well, hang on. <laughs> Where are you at? I told him we're at the KOA, and he was like, I can see the KOA sign from where I'm at. And he's like, yeah, if you can just get me the VIN number, I'll match the part. And I was like, bro, I got the part. And he's like, dude, I'll come do it right now. And so he showed up. Our fuel filter has been changed. Charged me 60 bucks for it, which was pretty sweet. Good job, Bob. I'm in my director's chair. Very good. I took with your butt. Stacked, bro. Yeah, they're whole wheat. All right. How is it, Henry? Does it taste okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I showed these YouTube people where I ended up with on my um, <clears throat> bike light hacking. When we put the cover on our bikes and you can't see the spokes, see through the spokes of the wheels, uh, it actually covers our brake lights and our turn signals. And we figured that out on our first real big trip out with the e-bikes when we went to uh, South Padre Island. And while we were in the national park, this is what I came up with. I just took those aluminum tubes and double clamped them to kind of lock it into place <clears throat> and then ended up zip tying our uh, tow lights onto the end of it. And those lights will extend out beyond the cover and you know, we're street legal. I'm not gonna get rear-ended when I hit the brakes. They're taking our child on the train ride. You're gonna be the only one, I think. We Are you gotta excited? We gotta go by and see if there's any more kids, but you might be the only one. Personal train okay. ride. Choo choo. Here we go. Bye. Have fun. I'll put it back over here. Thank you. <laughs> you kiss this guy? No, not at all, but Henry's got a radio. He can call for help. <laughs> How's the ride so far, Henry? Is the data a radio check? <laughs> Are you having fun? What did you say? <laughs> Are you having fun? Data radio check. Okay. Have fun, Henry. We'll see you when you get back. Wednesday. Every Wednesday at 7. Every Wednesday night they have a train ride. No, it's 7.45 and the train ride guy's giving him a late train ride. It's really nice. And he's in his gym. Call it your own personal that was train. a private train ride. How's that? Huh? Thank you, Henry. Can you tell him thank you? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. No problem, right? All right, mister. It's bedtime. Let's go get some stories going. You are one lucky kid. You got really lucky. So I went on that train ride and he looked and he took me all the way around the whole campground. What? All the way? Yeah, and we even went by the pool. Nah. -uh. Yeah, That's we way did. far away. Yeah, we went to the pool. Oh my god. We, something was wrong with the very back car. How do you know? Because they there was a green one. There was one in the green in a green golf cart, and he was following, and then they stopped because something was wrong with the back car. Biggest adventure of the day. <laughs> Let's read some bedtime stories. Look, the rain just picked up. Right as we got everything put away, except for Henry's bike. It's okay. You think it's gonna be all right? No. I might stick it under the RV. What do you think of that? Yeah. We are headed to spend the night at Waldrug, which is the world's largest drugstore. <laughs> 